good morning everybody it is currently six in the morning i'd like to welcome y'all back to another episode of road to master's degree we've got a lot of things to do but first let's get dressed let's shower let's have some food and then we're gonna get right into it like i said 6 a.m we're up early we've got a lot of work to do i've also got a christmas celebration but i'll tell you about that in a second but first let's hop in the shower All right guys, so as I'm wrapping up my uh, preparations for the day and we're getting ready to eat breakfast, I just quickly want to explain to you guys what's going on with the Christmas celebration, right? So last week or a couple of weeks ago when it was actually Christmas, uh, my mother-in-law actually uh, caught COVID. So that's why we decided to, you know, maybe repeat Christmas for her because we have not had Christmas with her. Um, so we're going to go there. We have a bunch of presents left and with we, I mean my girlfriend and I obviously uh, so we're gonna go there, we're just gonna have some pizza or something else like that and then we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, make sure uh, <laughs> she still had a lovely Christmas. Hopefully you guys had a lovely Christmas. Uh, but now though, after I'm ready, uh, it's time to eat some breakfast. So let's get into that. So during breakfast, I quickly made up this list of things I have to think about, work on for my retake exam on the 17th. But regardless of that, today's video topic is reducing your phone usage, this damn thing. How do we get rid of it? Or at least how do we reduce our usage so it doesn't kill our productivity? So over the years, I've learned a lot of things which I'd like to share with you guys today. So make sure you watch the whole video since the tips will be spread out across the whole video. So the tip number one is that I've realized, right? I was thinking the other day, well, how come that I sometimes respond really fast and sometimes really slow? It takes me over a day to respond to someone and sometimes I respond within a minute, right? Well, what I've recently found out is that if I just have one message, for example, friend A texting me, hey, what time are you gonna be at my place? And I'm walking through the grocery store, just casually walking along, I think, oh wow, I'm gonna respond to that. But what I found is that if I have 10 different messages or 10 different people texting me at the same time, I'm not gonna feel like responding because I actually have to sit down, take time out of my day, even though you'll do that even if it's just one message, it feels more like a burden. It feels more like an action I actually have to think about and do. I have to sit down, reply to all these people, and I've used that to my advantage. I've, thinking, I've been thinking to myself, right, let them stack up. Stack up your messages, let them stack up, and the barrier to entry, the barrier of you actually wanting to respond will be so high that you might not even end up doing it the same day. You might actually wake up and take some time apart, think, oh, right, I'm gonna just take 10 to 15 minutes, respond to everybody, so my head is clear, and then you move on with your day. Very nice tip, make sure you try this for yourself. But without further ado, let's get into some studying as I have a lecture at two. And right guys, so obviously I'm also trying to take you along for what I'm doing. So this course I'm taking Principles of Human Physiology, which is actually the last subject I have to take in this uh, curriculum thing. So I've decided with somebody else to make a Notion page to keep everything organized. And on the left side, we have all the practical things like dissecting classes or microscopic things or things like that, right? And then down below here, we have a uh, reading list so we can see, for example, for lecture two, we need to prepare that. And then obviously we want to keep that information somewhere. So on the right side, we have the information for the lecture. So for example, if I open yesterday's one, we can see that we uh, organized everything, uh, color coded, uh, coordinated everything with each other. And uh, it's been uh, very nice so far to have all our notes organized. So what's gonna go down today is that I have to fill out six and seven, which is about uh, perception and things like that. So let's get that sorted. Obviously I need to read the book for that which is gonna be a lot of work. This class is a lot of work, but it's damn exciting. So I'm gonna get started right away and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm a little bit further ahead into this subject. Guys, so I finished up taking some notes. Usually what I do nowadays is I go through the PowerPoint slides and I work out everything uh, by reading the book so I understand what's gonna be uh, on the PowerPoint or on the lecture today. Uh, I took some notes, worked everything out. This is about 50 or 60% or so uh, of what will be told in today's lecture, what we're gonna be talking about. So I'm gonna finish this up, but before we do that, I quickly wanna take a break because I'm absolutely smoked, my brain is dead. So I'm gonna quickly vacuum the place. What I tend to realize is that it's so nice to just do something physical in between, like go for a walk, do a workout, uh, or vacuum your place because uh, then you'll refresh your mind. So let's get to it. Right guys, so as I'm vacuuming this place, I walk into my bedroom. 
And I thought of tip two. Tip number two is actually that you don't bring your phone into your bedroom. So if you have a separate place to work at or a place where you sleep, uh, that's not the place where you study or something else like that, you have to make a uh, physical separation. Why does this work? I've noticed that if I wake up and I grab my phone, I tend to lay in bed way longer than I should because you know, I'm scrolling through my phone, responding to messages, maybe even watching a YouTube video or scrolling on Instagram. Uh, and then you waste a lot of time. So personally what I do is I tend to, to use a, uh, a different alarm, actually a physical alarm. I have a wake up light, a Philips wake up light. I've had this for like eight years or so and it actually improved my mornings a lot simply because I don't wake up shocked because like, oh holy shit, what's that loud sound? I actually wake up slowly, I feel better in the morning and then actually when I go out of my room, when I go out of my bedroom, when I'm already out of my bed, then I see my phone and then I can decide whether I want to use it or not. Let's keep cleaning. Alright folks, just I got myself a cup of coffee. Now let's get back to work because I've got two or so hours left to get this done. So let's get it done. Let's go. Let's get it. You go after your shit, I'll go after mine. We're all happy. Let's get it done. Alright guys, so it's about 1pm. I am so tired. I've gotten a lot of work done. Uh, I started at around 6 30, 7 ish in the morning with school related topics. Uh, I just got myself some food. I got a nice uh, tortilla here or a wrap or whatever you want to call it with some, uh, some veggies and stuff like that. Some uh, uh, vegan meat and uh, I'm gonna enjoy that real quick. And then I'm gonna mop up the floors here, uh, take out the trash because uh, today, like I said, I'm gonna leave for a couple days here. So I wanna make sure I leave the house spotless. And then at 2 the lecture will start, so obviously uh, after that I'm gonna leave right away. So I gotta get everything done right now and uh, I could use a break. So I'm gonna enjoy my food. And right, so my lecture is starting in 5 minutes, so I wanna go ahead and give you guys a last tip for today's video. But first though, you need to understand that the problem is not with looking at your phone for 5 seconds and checking your message. It's with trying to get back up to that focused state of mind. It can take up to 20 minutes. And it's been shown in literature time and time again that it does take a long time to get back up to that point that you can get focused again, that you are working at full capacity again. So it's not those five or 10 seconds that you waste or even that one minute that you waste, it's that mental capacity that you wasted or the time you wasted that you now have to make up for in your productivity. And that's a aspect that's been described in this book perfectly called Deep Work by Cal Newport. Very good book, he talks about how to get into deep focus states. So make sure you read this if you want to learn more about the subject, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite books. Uh, and, and, and this is also the last tip, try not to look at your phone, try not to get that little bit of time, that little bit of stretch in there, uh, thinking you're going to be faster. You're not, because it's going to drain your mental capacity. So you want to make sure you focus on one task at a time. If you're reading a book, read the book. Don't read five pages, look at the phone, read two pages, look at the phone. Just read the 10 pages and then look at the phone. And uh, that's about it for today. That's about the last tip. Uh, hopefully this video was useful to you. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the lecture and I'll catch you guys afterwards. So my bags are packed and I'm ready to leave. Jeez, I've been struggling so much trying to record clips today simply because I cannot speak properly. I keep making mistakes. So this may be try four. Some clips I even try 10 to 11 times, but the video is going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I learned you guys uh, you know, I helped you guys learn some new things. Uh, see, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Next week, I'll be talking about a different subject. So hopefully you guys can tune in for that one. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified. Turn on the little bell like thing. So we'll get a notification uh, when I do upload a video on Monday or obviously the podcast podcast geez, on Thursday. I'm going to make it to my train. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.